Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence, man's going to be fighting for the vacant Valor Fight Bantamweight title coming up on Saturday, May the 14th. It is Brandon Webb. He is going to be taking on Ronnie Lawrence. Brandon, 2-0 and in his career. He's coming off a win back in March. Brandon, appreciate the time. Uh, first off, how's camp been for this fight? Um, camp is great. I'm in uh, the best shape I've ever been in for a fight. No, I'm ready to go. Is it, to show my skills. is it one of those things of as you go, is it just basically the progression of a fire as each camp does get better just because you're becoming a better version of yourself? Yeah, you could say that. Uh, definitely. You you uh, get more tools. You sharpen, you sharpen what you already know. So, yeah, you, I, I'd say you definitely get better. You just have to, it's all about pushing yourself to, uh, to another uh, stage. You made the pro debut back in October of 2015. You had had you know, 10 amateur fights. Was it one of those things of it was just the right time to turn pro? Or maybe it was a situation of you wanted to turn pro a little sooner, but it just didn't happen? Um, No, I, I sort of knew I'd uh, go pro around the 10-5 uh, lot. So I was, I was uh, looking to go pro at, uh, at my 10 fight. I I even lost my 10th fight, but I knew I could beat that dude. It was just, uh, it wasn't my night, so I just decided to go pro off of a loss, and uh, I've been doing great so far. What made you decide to become a mixed martial artist? Um, I wrestled in uh, middle school and high school, and uh, when I was in ninth grade, um, one, of my, uh, one of the uh, senior wrestlers, he did MMA, uh, his name is Ryan Peace. Um, I, I took private lessons from him at the gym, and then uh, I just saw what he was doing, and uh, I tried it, and I was hooked. And, of course, uh, obviously everything's gone very well for you coming off that win back in March, now fighting for the vacant Bantamweight title in Valor fights against Ronnie Lawrence. Uh, when it comes to fight mentality, is it just merely about what you want to go in there and do, or maybe it's a little bit of a mixture of knowing what you want to do but also knowing that you know what your opponent does well as well? Yeah, um, I in every fight I just go in there and try to um, try to make it my fight. I don't let I, I try to get off first and uh, don't let him do uh, don't don't let him make it his fight. Um, he doesn't he doesn't really do anything. I'm too worried about. It. I feel like I'm better than him in every uh, area of fighting, so I'm not too worried about him. I'm just ready to go out there and uh, get a finish and show that my last two fights were on warm ups for me. What do you think he does best? Um, I, I I feel like he's a he, he just, he's just a stand up fighter. His ground is okay, but I'm not too worried about that. But he's just a stand up fighter, and I consider myself a stand up fighter as well. Uh, he he likes to throw spinning back kicks, so I'm watching out for that. But other than that, I'm not too worried about him. M- mentioning the spinning back kicks, there is that one of those things that uh, basically your training partners for this camp basically have been throwing that when maybe you would least expect it, just so you're ready for that technique at, at any opportunity, in any uh, any opening there may be in the fight. Right, yeah, uh, my training partners would throw them out there a little bit. Uh, even my instructor Chuck Hawthorne, um he he's a, a black belt in karate, so he he throws them at me all the time uh, just to get me aware of it. So in the fight, I I, I should have no problem. Uh, seeing him coming. I know every fighter has a different relationship with your coach, for, for, for with their coach. But for you, with Chuck, I mean, is it uh, what type of relationship? I mean, is it merely student, you know, and teacher? Is it is it a little more than that? What's the relationship like there? Um, we have a great relationship actually. Um, in the gym, it's it's awesome. We we hang out outside the gym. We get airsoft. We do all sorts of stuff together. We have a, a great relationship, very close. When you're when you're outside, all team, we're all close. When, when you're outside the gym, is there a little bit of competition between you and your coach? Maybe you go out there and maybe you're doing something, and it just becomes a competition, and, and both because both of you want to push each other. Oh yeah, that, of course. Yeah, you always want to beat them and uh, try to make a little statement. But yeah, that's that's how it always is with everything. I'm a competitive person, so I always like to win. What do you do to get your mind off the fight game? When you know, obviously, when you're inside the gym, that that's all you're thinking about. When you leave the gym, what what are some of the things you do just to kind of, you know, get your mind clear of what is going on inside the gym? Um, once I leave the gym, I like to hang out with my friends. I go to the movies, uh, do anything really. Uh, I'm an adrenaline junkie, so anything that gets my blood pumping, I love doing. Uh, I'm down for anything really. 
when it comes to a drill and junkie, do you, do you have to kind of calm that down when you're, you're when you're in a fight camp? Um, not really. It's not too bad. I'm I'm a pretty chill person, I'd say. Uh, it's not it's not too bad. When it's uh, when I'm in the gym, it's just time to train and uh, I'm focused. As we're talking, we're we're eight days away from the fight. I mean, pretty much is it to that point in the camp where it's just basically just little minor things, you know, pretty much all the hard sparring is done, or is there still maybe one or two more hard sessions you're going to go through? Um, All the hard sparring is done. Um, pretty much this this last week, um, it'll pretty much be – I'll have a hard session tomorrow, uh, uh, today and tomorrow, and that'll probably be my last hard session. And, uh, next week I'll probably just uh, do some technical work, and uh, next week it's pretty much all about cutting weight, so – it's not really going to be too hard of training. I just got to worry about getting my weight off. In terms of obviously we're being one week away from the fight when we're talking right now, is it more about just like, like man, I just want May the fourteenth to get here. I've been working so hard for the past couple weeks. It's just it, maybe it's a little bit more anxious than anything else. Yes, I'm very excited. I'm ready for it to get here. Um, I'm anxious. I'm just ready to put on the show. I'm ready to stop this guy and. Uh, Make a make a statement. Obviously, your first two um, pro fights have ended by decision. Uh, is it one of right. those things heading into this fight? Is like, man, is that really? Obviously, the main goal is to go out there to win. But really, is a second main goal to go out there and win by stoppage? Yes, I always try to uh, win by stoppage. In my last two fights, uh, I, I haven't been pulling the trigger like I wanted to. Like I haven't been pulling the trigger like I wanted to. I felt like I could have finished both the people I fought. I just couldn't pull the trigger. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to uh, to go back to how I was as an amateur, just uh, running through all the people by knockout, uh, TKO. And this fight, I'm I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, show everybody that these last couple pro fights are just warm up for me in the pros, and it's uh, about to start turning up here soon. Any reason why you think you didn't pull the trigger in those fights? I mean, is it was it physical or mental? Uh, um, no, well, physically I was fine. It's probably more mental, just because I was. Just because I'm a pro, I was at the beginning of my pro career now. I just, I'm like, oh, I want to be safe. But now I got, I, I feel like I got that out the way. I'm just ready to come in here and uh, show all my skills and let loose in this fight. It is basically the, the key to victory for you in this fight? Is it just being yourself, or maybe is there another key to victory here? Yeah, it's just, it's just uh, making it my fight. Uh, I feel like I'm better everywhere. So wherever I, wherever I. Uh, choose to take the fight i'll beat him um, i'm not too worried about anything any part of his game so yeah if i, if I want to take him down i'll take him down if i want to strike with him i'll strike with him i feel like i'm better everywhere and this fight will be a part of valor fights 33 as brand will be taking on ronnie lawrence for the vacant bantamweight title brandon appreciate the time good luck in the fight man oh thank you stay tuned and watch it